Aww. Feels so nostalgic. I remember, like, staying up at night, and then me and my parents would watch this together. Simpsons. Simpsons! Yay, the Simpsons. I love the Simpsons. I uh, love the Simpsons. Everybody knows this song. Dun, 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 dun. It's like the first episode or something. These graphics, though. You can tell by the animation, it's like super early Simpsons. Very old school, but very classic show. I will not waste chalk. <laughs> Little Bart, bad butt. I can't, can you believe how long this, this show? They've been on forever. I think I graduated high school when this came out. God, that's scary. They've been around forever, probably since the 80s. This brings, brings back so many memories. Lisa jamming out. Lisa, there she goes. You know, I never watched much of The Simpsons as a kid just because I kind of felt like it was always more of an adult cartoon show. Aww. Feels so nostalgic. I remember, like, staying up at night and then me and my parents would watch this together. Homer's like the original stupid dad, and I think he's paved the way for a lot of stupid dads. Then the couch. Crazy family. I used to love this cartoon. Brought me back to my childhood. That intro is so classic. Nostalgic. Simpsons. That started the whole hilarious cartoons that adults can enjoy. I remember specifically just like curling up literally on the floor and watching the show. You get like a flash of how you felt as like a kid or like it, you just instantly back in that moment. So we have a lot more videos to show you, but that was the original opening of The Simpsons back in its first season. We're covering it today because this is their 30 year anniversary of being on television since it's got its start as a segment on the Tracy Ullman show back in 1987. Wow. 30 years? Damn, I'm old. Oh my god, I was 15 years old. Amazing. And it was this little clip on the Tracy Ullman show. I remember that. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I love that an idea could could just uh, live for so long. There's kids now that are just like, wow, The Simpsons is a great show, and they don't know that it's been going on for 30 years. So it's impossible to show even close to all the best moments of the show, but here are some clips before we jump in and talk more about it. Okay. Let's do it. I uh, love you, Dad. I love you too, son. I don't think I've ever felt as close to you as I do right... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an Eva Knievel uh, reference over the Grand Canyon. Very Wiley Coyote-esque. I'm gonna make it! <laughs> this is the greatest thrill of my life! Homer is I'm off the hook, the man. That guy's Woo! nuts. I'm king of the world! <laughs> Woo! Woo! I... Uh, hey, he doesn't make it. I remember everybody had like a dope t-shirt. I remember that episode. I was hoping he was going to make it to show the kids and bar like, yeah, I'm the cool dad, but instead he bust his head. There's nothing on earth like a genuine bona fide electrified six car monorail. What's it called? Monorail. That's monorail. Right. Monorail. <laughs> monorail. Monorails as in trains? I hear those things are awfully loud. It oh my god. Glides as softly as a cloud. Is there a chance <laughs> the track could bend? Not on your life, my Hindu friend. They're what uniquely multicultural. Jobs. You'll be given cushy jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love a big showy number on The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Mono, don't! That was funny. It's really an OG in animation. Marge versus the monorail. It's considered to be one of the greatest Simpsons episodes ever written. I love how they would like bring in, I mean, that's Music Man. You got trouble, my friend. Right here, you got trouble. And I loved how they were, they bring that stuff in. You just think of like other shows that like came after it, like Family Guy and stuff like that, where they have these like, <laughs> crazy musical numbers, and it's like, they probably got that straight off of Simpsons. We've helped hundreds of people in danger. We'll give you a new name, a new job, new identity. I remember this episode. From now on, you'll be uh, Homer Thompson at Terror Lake. When I say, hello, Mr. Thompson, you'll say, hi, check. Hello, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> he doesn't know remember what you're now, talking about. Remember now, your name is Homer Thompson. He's really bad at I witness protection. I got you. Hello, Mr. Thompson. 
Hello, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> oh, now when I say so hello, stupid. Mr. Thompson, and press down on your foot, you smile and nod. No problem. Hello, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Nothing. I think he's talking to you. <laughs> That's funny. I think he's talking to you. He's so stupid. Bless his little heart. Homer's whisper voice. I think he's not. Oh, I love it. Marge, how did you put up with him for all these years? With the sunblocker in place in the town, a guest. I oh, that evil told. man. So I wanted to kick up my heels and indulge my sweet tooth. Oh, it's you. What are you so happy about? <gasps> I see. But the old axiom was misleading. <laughs> the candy, Ever try to take candy from a baby? Taking the candy <laughs> proved exceedingly difficult. I know that shouldn't be funny, but it is. Drop it! <laughs> Arrest the baby! <laughs> yeah, right, Pops. No jury in the world's gonna convict a baby. Mm, maybe Texas. He was stealing from her. She's allowed to carry in Texas. It was an accident. <laughs> or was it? Or was it? Bat baby. She knows everything. Yeah, I remember that episode. They made a big deal about it. It's so smart. That's why this has been on for so long, is it's so smart. Back when that originally aired, we had an old TV in my house. Right when he's about to point, I know who the killer is, it is, my TV goes out. And my parents started laughing at me because I started crying. I was like, I was watching that. Oh my, like, I'll never know. Now read the first line. I ate pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's like essential Bart right there. Better or worse? Worse! Yeah. Better or worse? Much better. There's nothing funnier than child abuse, huh? How about that? Can't do that to your kids. No, can't do that. Cartoons is okay, but can't do that in real life. That is the Homer-Bart relationship I know. It's so funny because, like, you know, just from watching the series for so long, like, the uh, relationship is quite odd between Bart and his dad, you know? <laughs> like, not the best role model. And you know it's so funny? Because my husband is kind of not the best role model for my kids, too. Uh, what do you think, Marge? All I need is a title. No TV, no I'm beer. Make Homer go crazy. No TV, <laughs> no TV and no beer. Make Homer something, something. Oh, God. I remember Don't this one. Mind. Oh, crazy. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Break class in case of spouse insanity. <laughs> Can I get that at my house? Oh, I see the reference. Here's Homer. <laughs> I wonder if half the people watching this realize that where this stuff is from. Do they know that was from Music Man? Do they know that was from The Shining? Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. That was a, that was a great episode, too. Okay, this is a newer episode. A newer episode. How about that rain check for the last night? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't look at me! But you're everywhere! Ew! Three guys! Get out of here! Oh. Thank oh. God I'm blind. The originator of Yo, the bleach I'm jokes. No. Yo, I'm not. No! Oh, oh my God! What the hell? I did that with love, boy. That's what a good dad would do. That hair was thick and long on her legs. I can't unsee that. They're just awful. That's why they're so great. Homer, oh. I mean, come on. We all say that now, right? I think the Simpsons are hilarious. Every time I watch it, I have a good time. This was pretty f***ing funny. I will fight anyone that says The Simpsons isn't good. Come at me, bro. It's funny that this show has, like, gone on for years now. It's still going strong. Well, if you're a Simpsons fan, you know that one of the most iconic parts of the show is the couch gag in the opening. Yep. They always change it. So we've got a collection of a few of those to show you now. And again, there's so many of these, so this is just a small sampling. Oh, cool. Fantastic. I will enjoy a couch gag. I'm sure of it. <laughs> That's everybody in our household. That's exactly the case. <laughs> and a still Texan. A Brady Bunch reference? Okay. Even the creativity that goes into making the couch scenes is ridiculous. I love this one. No, with the Legos? Wow. It's so smart, man. Oh. It's not more? 
Oh, that was pretty cool. I want to watch more. It's so good. Two thumbs up. It was awesome. I love The Simpsons. I love that. They've kept it going for a long time. This is a running joke in all of our episodes. How do we make a difference and how do we keep adding to it? I don't know of, of another show that's just so so brilliantly written. How long is it going to last? How do they keep coming up with all these ideas? I kind of uh, wished at some point in my adolescence I was Bart, but I was more of the Lisa. I, I, was, I was more Lisa. I was the, that was the bookworm. Well, the show is currently in its 28th season. Amazing. And it's already been renewed for two more seasons, which will make it the longest running sitcom in history. Wow. That's insane. There's something so nostalgic about it that people of all ages can continue to watch the show. What do you think it is about the show that has given it this lasting power? I mean, it has a great formula. They have a villain, they have a clown, they have a grocery store person. We can all relate to these things in our community. It's just family, like they're not going anywhere. I love the way they portrayed, you know, real life people. The writing behind it, it's just so funny and creative. Just pulling from relevant things in, in contemporary times. It appeals to the to kids all the way up to their parents. They're both gonna equally get laughs. A town worth of characters and just have fun. It's a sandbox that they can play in. I'm sure if it was just the Bart show, it would only lasted like three seasons. But when you have stories about a poo or Cressy the Clown, it gives you a lot to work with. I don't really know any family that is not a little bit dysfunctional in its own way. And, and them bringing that to the forefront of American society and saying, hey, look, we're all a little bit dysfunctional. Let's laugh at it, you know, instead of take it so seriously, I think appeals to everybody. Finally, there are so many memorable scenes and episodes from the show. What is your favorite Simpsons moment? Oh my gosh. Basically, any episode that heavily features Flanders, I feel like is always a good episode. Everyone here tried their best. Well, my family and I can't live in good intentions, Marge. I like the series when he had the, when he had Hugh Hausner on there. They got it perfect. The name's Hal Huser. I traveled the country gawking and talking, and I was hoping to take in your town. In comes the clown when uh, Crest the Clown decides to take a more serious approach to his show, and he has that really depressing, like, song, like, here comes the clown. Send in the clowns. Marge asks why they don't have any of Maggie's baby pictures in the photo albums, and it's because Homer is, has them inside his uh, his little shithole office at the nuclear plant because that's what keeps him motivated to continue working. Aw, oh, man, when I watched that, it, it melted my heart. I think that's one of my favorite moments. There are pictures. I keep them where I need the most cheering up. Hi, Diddly Ho! Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Go! Hey, everyone, it's Dallin here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Adults React. You have any great Simpsons moments? Let us know what they are down below. Bye, guys.